right now what we're going to do, I'm going to have them walk you through it. We're going to do a couple of thorough flying kicks to show you how we do it. So it's not in. So first, he's going to put down his capote, his binder. This here is a base. Okay, it's a base tobacco. He's going to make his punch with the base. He's going to take the ligeros. You're not going to see visos. You're going to see two, li two ligero groupage. Breaks the bunch. This is a very different cigar than you're going to see a regular because of the awkward size and shape. He's got to do a lot of breaking and a lot of finessing. So as you can see, it's much different than the way you just saw Steve roll. Uh, show you the other cigar. What people kill there? T52? Moreo? Did you see how he was breaking the bunches and breaking? It's a very, the hand control is very, very important. The leaf placement, have you guys smoked all these smoke ferrofly pigs? You see the draw on the ferrofly pig and the even burn to awkward shape and awkward cigar to make. So, what you noticed is you probably didn't see any visa. Who's got a, uh, who's got a blazer lighter? Let me see it. Okay, again, here's his capote. Binder. Here's his base. Some, some ligero. And the ligero's from a different tobacco, from a different farm region. And watch the placement of the leaf. And these tobaccos are going to be on the drier side right now because of the intense humidity. So we have the tobaccos a little drier. Also, for this is a very difficult cigar to produce. So it's a little bit easier on the drier side because it's got to find. Uh, uh, the, the spots to fill with it is a different hand. Uh, uh, Watching bunching on the barrel flying pig. Okay, who's gonna be the one? Alright, who's the last one? I'll hit that again. 
Well, check it out. Let me get a photo of that. That's good. Let's go this way.